Hello, my name is Monica Noon. I'm the GIS Manager at Conservation International. Today I'm going to show you how to create a new polygon shapefile in ArcMap for desktop. First you'll want to open ArcMap uh, and right-click on this empty space on the toolbar. I like to have a few toolbars open, the Draw, Editor, Layout, and Standard toolbars. We'll use all of these today. Also ensure that the table of contents that you see here on the left is uh, open, and I'm also going to select Catalog. And just pin that here uh, for future reference. Now I'm going to add a base map so I can actually see what is available. And I'm going to add a natural earth boundary layer as well on top of my base map. Now, to make sure I can see, I'll select hollow by clicking here on this box. And then I'm going to select this magnifying glass with a plus sign so I can easily zoom in to the area I want to look at. And today I'm going to look at some communities near Mount Kenya. create a shapefile, just right click on this uh, folder that I already have with some Kenya data in it. Now right clicking, selecting new, get this additional set of options, I'll select shapefile. This gives me the option to name my shapefile. I'm just going to abbreviate some things. Polygon, because I want to draw boundary of an area. I'm just going to give it this uh, geographic coordinate system WGS 1984. If you know it you can search but here there's just some drop down menus that you can go through. I want a global one. Okay. Now you can see I have this uh, shape file here but there's no information yet so I need to start editing with the editor toolbar. Say I want to edit this shape file, and you'll see that these have now been highlighted. They were grayed out before I started editing. So I can create features, and I just click here to make sure you know you're editing the right uh, shape file. Go through and click. You want to click at a moderate pace. If you click too fast, it may actually stop editing. Now I double click. You can see this has been highlighted. I can either hit save or I can hit stop editing. Stop editing, if I had hit that before saving, it would have given me the option to save there. Now, if you want to continue adding polygons, you wouldn't have hit stop editing. You would have just continued going on. Create boundaries. Let's say there's an area over here I want to look at too. And you have that there. Now, let's say I didn't like that last point I, I made, so I could actually select edit vertices, and because that was already selected, I could have moved that slightly. Now I'll hit stop editing. It's realized I hadn't saved that. Yeah, I want to save that. Now I have those polygons. Now to send out that shape file, if I wanted to send it to a colleague, I would actually go to that data file that I saved it on. If you don't remember, go back to catalog and just kind of follow your tracks. I have it in the D folder, data, Kenya. Data Africa Kenya. And you'll see that I have several files. Now, this has been locked because it's open currently in ArcMap. So if I tried to um, compress these now, it would give me this, this error. One way of getting around it is um, selecting that first file selecting shift, 
selecting all the files and then hitting control and while holding control remove that file from my selections so again you can either hold control click on each folder you want at each file but just make sure that you have all of these supplementary files selected except for the locked one now i can compress it I have this, it's 2KB, and I can use that as an attachment in an email and send it out to a colleague so they know exactly the boundary I'm looking at. That's all I have for today. Thank you for joining.